Hello friends, this is Karishma and this is my the second video tutorial on the ASP.NET. In the previous video tutorial, I just told you about the image slider and this was my design. I am directly going to show the output of the, my first tutorial. So just debug it, run and click OK. So you can see the result of this. So as I am clicking the button, so uh, the whole page is going to load. And I want that particular image controls they are going to be load. So to overcome this problem, I am going to use the Ajax control here. So this is my .axpx part, go to source part and uh, add uh, one script manager here. Um, without script manager, we cannot manage the Ajax controls and this is the parent class of the Ajax controls and uh, which holds the property and method of the Ajax. So that's the reason it is very necessary to use the script manager. Without script manager, the Ajax control will not work. So here I'm going to add one update panel. So I'm adding update panel. Here I'm going to add one content template. So I want that the images, uh, the three images and the button, they, they should be in within that update panel. So I am going to clo uh, close the update panel after the button. Okay, so go to the design part and run it. Click OK. So now you can see the images are moving so easily and the previous result is like this and the current result is like this i want to show one modification here also if you want to uh, if you are if you want that your images are in running mode so for this uh, let me go to the design part uh, sorry source part and let me add one timer in update panel so I am going to use one timer here, uh, go to design part, click on timer, go to properties and just interval make it as a thousand and we have one tick event here. So we just click on tick event to generate the tick event and this, this is you can, uh, this is the tick event. So we had to write the code for uh, the, to give the functionality to the timer. So I am going to do this code. I am going to make it as a, I am going to extract the one method. So I am going to extract the method and I am going to name it as slideshow. Slideshow, enter. So this is metal slide show. It's it is generated, and I'm going to use in the tick event and a tick method slide show. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to debug it. Run. And okay. So now, okay, now you can see the result of this. The, your pictures are moving automatically and if you click button also, then it's going to work. Previous, it is going to work and simultaneously it is uh, moving. So I hope uh, you like this video. You will like this video and uh, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much.